everyone and welcome! In this video we are going to learn about the main advantage of using NPM 5 or higher and why we can use it now instead of the YARN package manager. At this point we have cloned the repository of the Angular security course. So if I do NPM minus V we are going to see that it's a dot version of the 5 release and this version number is going to be extremely important for this course because we want to have at least version 5. This is because we will be using this package lock.json file if we want to upgrade our npm version to the latest, which is always a good idea to catch all the bug fixes that were lately released, what we can do is npm install minus g for global installation, and then we are going to install the npm module. So here we are using npm to upgrade itself. And this will bring us the latest npm version. After a while the npm installation will be completed and we can see that if we now do npm-v we are going to see that we have the 5.3.0 version so we have the latest version of npm installed. This is always a good idea to make sure that we have the latest functionality of the package manager. With this in place we are now ready to install our dependencies so we are going to simply do npm install and this is going to install all the dependencies according to the contents of the package lock.json file. So it's very important that you don't edit this file manually. This file is the equivalent of the yarn lock file, so it provides essentially the same functionality. We can open it up to see what it contains. So it's a JSON file that contains the exact versions that are meant to be downloaded in your machine so that you are sure that whenever you install the lessons code you will have the exact same dependency tree that I have here on my machine. So this is a great feature to use not only for the course but for all your projects in general because it ensures that you will never run into semantic versioning issues where the dependencies on one machine are not exactly the same dependencies that are installed on another machine. This could be another developer's machine or even a build server. So you will never run into problems caused by dependency version differences. So I really recommend you to upgrade to the latest version of NPM 5 and start uh, using this feature which was only recently introduced but it's really an essential feature for your project. We really want to avoid semantic versioning issues as much as possible because those problems are very time consuming to troubleshoot. So with this in place, let's start the development server and do a guided tour of the sample application that we have here before starting adding security features to it. 